Mayor, I'd like a question on the one uh, last question that we had, the voicemail. Go ahead, Talk Mr. About a little Mr. Bit. Poach. Thank you. We previously discussed as a group, and as we mentioned, for personnel reasons, we we had executive sessions as well that needed to be discussed, and those specifics are confidential, obviously, uh, individuals and things along those lines. But we had looked at a furlough program that was a little more extensive than where we are now. And I, I just wanted some folks to understand in answer to that question, we looked at it a little bit more expansively. Uh, one of the concerns I have about where we are now and if it, that it's not large enough in, in terms of what we're doing, and this is a very, very, very uncomfortable and terrible conversation to have when you talk about people, you know, furloughing individuals. So I want everyone to understand that this is, you know, one of a couple of outcomes for the problems and none of these discussions are very, are very good, you know, to do that. So let's, you know, be very honest about that to, to begin with. So as we move forward looking at that, I had the opportunity um, yesterday and today to speak to some folks in other communities as well. Ross Township in particular, Millvale, um, Westview, some other places as well, uh, and talked about they have some huge concerns, as do we. And I particularly looked at a place like Ross, very similar to us with business areas. They have Babcock Boulevard and McKnight Road. We have 22, 286. They have a slightly bigger population than we do and whatnot too. And they have real concerns they're going to be able to make it through and th without the, the sense of mercantile tax as well. So I want to propose to this group for us to consider, uh, maybe I need to put it in the form of a motion to consider us to have greater furlough, a more expansive furlough program uh, so that the people that are work working now are the people we talk about furloughing. This is to protect them into the future. And I don't mean now, I think it's a very realistic possibility and someone brought this to my attention that I actually Greg, a, an ALOM colleague of yours today, has some great concerns that by this time next year, there may not be municipalities currently existing because they won't be able to generate funds. You know, I have a lot of concerns. Will the mall open back up? Our mercantile tax, what's going to go on with that too? So I want to try to protect what we have in the future. And given the current situation that we have now, the opportunity that with a furlough is an 80% of your base pay, there's no commonwealth taxes, no local taxes taken, and the federal supplement to that to get back to 100% close to that, that gross tax. You know, we discussed that as a possibility as a program, and we had moved away from it with the option, of course, the manager, if it was a, a, a big hardship to be able to work with those, those individual empl employees as well, too. So if I need to put it in the form of a motion to discuss, I think we should consider a more expansive program to do that. So I'll, I guess this is as good a time as I need to do that. So put, I'll put it in the form of a motion to consider a more extensive furlough program. I would second that motion. Question. All right, we have a motion and a second. Yeah, may, may I, a question? Go yeah, ahead, uh, Greg. We can hear you, Greg. Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Yes, Greg. Yes, sir. Okay, Eric, I don't disagree with you, uh, but right now, uh, certainly there's always a plan, but I think right now we can still hold what we're doing, you know, we don't know what tomorrow brings. 30 days right. from now may be different and we may have to lay off more. But right now, I think what we're doing is we're serving our, our public. I don't have any problem supporting your uh, um, resolution, but I don't think the time to lay more people off is today. Uh, it's, it, we need to discuss it. There's no question about it so that people understand how difficult a decision this is. And, you know, it's, I, I, again, I hope I'm wrong. I truly, truly hope that I'm wrong. We have social distancing ongoing planned through May. We've already canceled the, the Memorial Day Parade. The Fourth of July Parade is in jeopardy. Is school going to be in place? How long those folks will be in place that, that things will be closed? Well, are we going to vote on this or are you going to keep talking? Well, I put it out, out there as well. Let's see if anybody else wants – we're discussing the motion. Tom, what else do you think about it? Well, I have this to say. It, it would be terrible for us to lay our, off anybody right now because, number one, in order for them to collect uh, their unemployment, first of all, there's like, uh, I don't know, 3 million people in line. It's going to take them months to sign up as well as months to receive uh, unemployment check. So therefore, we're gonna have people uh, standing in line for food and, and different things like that. 
So that's what we need to do. We need to maintain the force that we have today. That doesn't mean we can't change our minds, but today is the day we say we keep these people and move forward with what we have today. Now, if I can make a suggestion um, for Eric, for your motion and Linda's second, would you want to modify that to take a vote to direct the manager to look into this program to outline it? Or do you want, I guess I'm trying to understand the actual motion, what you want, what you want council to vote on right now. Sure. So or maybe Mr. Ratcher, if you, if you could maybe chime in on, I'm trying, trying to get, make sure that getting crafting the proper motion is made and what they're actually voting on. Well, I, I think that any, um, any action is going to be preceded by some recommendation from the manager uh, based on consultation with council. So I would think that Eric's motion is intended to get that process started. Eric, is that correct? Uh, if that's the, the best we can do at this time with it since to, to be able to act on it, I'll certainly accept that so that we can actually report on that at least at the very minimum uh, prior to our next executive session prior to the start of our uh, so citizens. Vote on it tonight. Well, Mr. at least Mayor. we can vote on the, this motion to get it started. So I'll phrase well, that. Well, no, I want to make a motion. We vote on uh, not uh, laying people off. I make a, a motion. Anybody second, Greg? Well, hang on a minute. Let's deal with this motion first. Um, Mr. Little? Yes. Well, we have talked in, uh, and asked you for recommendations um, as to what we should be doing at this time as far as some of the full-time employees. Um, right. And I'm wondering if you may have some of that information available that you could share with the public. Um, because we do have a lot of residents out there right now that are without incomes. Um, and they are also applying for unemployment. And I feel that we are the gatekeepers of their money as well. And I think that we need to be very prudent in our decisions oh, here for the entire community. Um, I think we protect, we're protecting a lot of our em employees now. But I think we also need to look out for this entire municipality at the same time. We have to show confidence to in our employees. We have confidence in them. I think that we have. We by maintaining I'm those not done I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not done talking. Um, well, you, I'm not done talking either. It was my turn. One moment, everyone. Um, the challenges of a Zoom meeting. Would we have a... Hey, Eric, I don't know where you're coming from. Linda, I don't know where you're coming from. Let's... From, Let's do yeah, this. You're going to run again, and you're not going to get elected because Mr. Mayor, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, one second, finish? everybody. Can I finish? I've Let's, asked Mr. One at a time. One, everybody, if everyone could I've, I've hold asked their comments Mr. for one moment. If Mr. everyone could hold their comments for one moment, please. This is Gatos. Why don't you finish your comment? I've asked Mr. Little to please give us the recommendations with the building of the library being shut down, the uh, senior center is shut down, and any other personnel, um, and um, asking Mr. Little to please give us and the public his recommendations as the manager of this municipality. Well, I've already given, I've already uh, talked to council about this very item. And we talked about three departments. We talked about the library, and I'm talking about full-time people. We talked about the library, we talked about the Senior Citizen Center, and we talked about the Park and Recreation Department. And council considered all of these, and I gave recommendations uh, if in different plans, as uh, Mr. Harvey uh, asked me to do. And several people, which totaled up to a, a total of 17 full-time people being furloughed. And council waited back and forth uh, seriously. And through the last couple of weeks, they decided not to furlough any full-time people. And that's basically where we are right now. Council knows what the savings would be uh, in laying off those people. And that would be approximately $120,000 a month in savings. Uh, and as the mayor just had mentioned, uh, there's savings that we're going to be conducting with respect to capital items, uh, not only personnel, 
uh, in council has, has made their decision to me uh, with respect to what they want to do. And right now, as I've also, as the mayor has also said about, uh, I've recommended also laying off the part-time people in the, in the library and also the senior citizen center. And that's where we are right now. And in council decided to do uh, just lay off the uh, part-time people. So that's where we are right now. Mr. Mayor, may I? Go ahead. Once again, I'll just say this. Yeah, we all considered all the options that Mr. Little set forth. And again, I think that what we're seeing from our library the, uh, and our senior center, as well as our park and rec, they're still providing services. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't change that two weeks from now, a month from now, next week. We just don't know what the future brings, but we are not in that kind of shape that many other municipalities are. And I don't disagree with trying to be very Prudent. What should you say for, uh, good with the taxpayers' money. I agree. But apparently, there are all the services in full. So at this time, I'll certainly vote for your uh, recommendations there, uh, Eric and Linda. But the, for layoffs to start right away, no. We can hold off, and we because we're going to be hopefully still teleconferencing uh, fairly regularly, and we can keep up with that. And then our next meeting, we can address any issues on that. So again, I just think we're putting the cart before the horse. That's just in my opinion. Mayor, may, may I add uh, to the conversation with respect to finances? Yes, Mr. Little. Um, yeah, the, the, the biggest finance that we have to look at for, two, for 2020 is the drop in wage tax and the drop in the transfer tax. We collect approximately $7.5 million in wage tax and we collect approximately one, a little over a million dollars in transfer tax. That's for 2020. Now, I'm leaving out building permits, and I'm not saying building permits is not uh, an amount of money we do collect, but those are the big items right there. Wage tax, you're really not going to know how much wage, ta wage tax you're going to lose this year, really, until the end of May. You're going to know somewhat at the end of this month, but you're really not going to know until the end of May. And if, for instance, we've only collected, let's say in May, we've only collected $1.5 million, then that's, that's something to look at. But if we've collected two, two and a half million out of seven million by that time, then we may be okay. But ir irrespective, there is gonna be a drop in wage tax, unquestionably. As far as the business tax and the mercantile tax, the gross receipts that's based on occurred in 2019. Correct. All right. So the mercantile tax and business privilege tax could be, it is going to be okay for 2020. Next year, 2021, is where you're going to see a drop. So you're going to have a staggered effect with respect to loss in revenue. Now, I'm, I'm talking about the big revenue items. Real estate tax, you could see a drop in that, but talking to colleagues of mine, other managers, yeah, there'll be a drop, but not as much in real estate tax uh, because everybody is paying their real estate taxes right now. And most of the real estate tax, I would venture to say 80% of it is already in escrow. Uh, most people uh, pay a mortgage and their taxes are in escrow and that money is escrow. So that money is going to be paid. Now the people that have their homes paid off and they pay their taxes themselves, you could see a drop in that. So to repeat for 2020, your drop is going to come from the majority of the wage tax because so many people uh, are, are laid off. And so that is something that has to be monitored. We don't know how much of the drop is going to be. And as Mr. Arasenko is saying, uh, and, is, and also uh, Mr. Poach, is it prudent possibly to lay people off to save money? Yeah. Uh, but also Mr. Arasenko is saying, well, we don't know yet. We can always monitor this. And it, it might be at the end of May, we could have to furlough people because our wage tax has significantly dropped. 
So that's just a comment on the an overview of the finance. Mayor, if I may, then Mr. Yes. Little, then yes. your recommendation was made for us to lay off how many full time people? I believe there was seventeen. Seventeen. So that was our manager's recommendation. So I am staying with Mr. Poach and the idea that we follow the recommendation of our manager. And my concern, guys, also is is to add add to that point is that when if the problem is, occurs in 2021, whenever federal resources are not available to supplement those individuals that have furloughed to make up the difference between the 80 percent that they receive on unemployment, if we have to act then because we're so short, there's no possibility to further reimburse them. This isn't about politics. Tom, this isn't about getting elected. This isn't about doing anything else. This is trying to protect people into the future. We're guessing here. We don't know what that impact is. You know, irrespective of how, ir irrespective of how we got here to this conversation, from our executive decision to where we are today, put that all aside. I'm willing to forget that. That's not a big deal, okay? But I'm really worried that our problem is further down the road, and we are going to hurt the people that work for us now. I, I, Peggy, you make a good point about guessing, and uh, I, don't make it don't make it about politics for this. It's not what this is well, about, guys. Well, let me see. I'll finish, and then you can go from there. But my point is that we we can uh, you know talk about this, and but not not do make any action on it, and by by uh, finally doing uh, a vote to see who's for it and who's against it, I think that's the most important thing. And down the road, we can, and, and again, like Greg said and Tim said, we can evaluate it month to month if we have to and, and move forward with whatever uh, the recommendations uh, become at that point in time. Okay, well, so I brought, so I brought it up, so I brought it up for now. So we'll need to act on this push on the manager's recommendations. Let uh, Mayor, if you let me just modify that so that we can yes, leave it yeah, in there. Then everybody, Bob's yeah, Mr. Question. Poach, if you could modify or clarify uh, your motion. The motion at the moment is to act on the ma manager's recommendations as outlined, and they would be applying today. And I would second the, the new motion. Okay, so, so it's, it's as it applies today and move forward. Well, wait a motion in the second. Bob had a question too, I think. I have a, I have a question. Go ahead, Bob. If, if we lay full-time employees off, you say unemployment's going to be 80% and the federal government's going to pick the rest up. We're not going to lose any money. Meantime, would it be required for them to use some of their vacation weeks to, to bring up the uh, uh, back end for them? Well, that, 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 plays out in your unemployment too. Tim, I, it's a little complicated. I'll leave it to you to explain from my research. It's a complicated answer though, but that's a good question, well, I think. I mean, you're, you're correct there. You're correct, Bob, is that everybody uh, in a certain amount, I, I, I don't know the actual amount, if it's below 70,000 or whatever the case might be, but everybody is uh, who is laid off in America is gonna get an extra $600 from the federal government. Now, each state has different unemployment laws and they have different amounts. Uh, so Pennsylvania, I, I don't know what Pennsylvania's amount is, and it's all based on your, um, what you so happens in your wage. Uh, but um, my recommendation to council does not come lightly. Uh, and I have told you that. And Absolutely. the reason why I made that recommendation is because of what Mr. Williams just said. Uh, and it, but also, as Mr. Wilson said, and as we all know, people are having a difficult time getting their unemployment. But the bottom line is, those people, the 17 full-time people that I mentioned to council, is they will all be made whole one way or the other through unemployment. It may take a while, but even more importantly than that, none of them will lose their health benefits because Municipal Benefit Services, um, who is our consortium through whom we get our, our health benefits, uh, waive the, uh, the um, requirement that every uh, insurance company has health insurance, so you have to be working. Well, they waived that through uh, July 31st, as I mentioned to council going back two weeks ago. 
that decision would have been way more difficult for me had that been the case, because you don't want to see anybody go without, without health benefits. So, Let me ask, excuse me, about the health benefits. Uh, will they still pay a portion of their yes. benefits? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and what, what, what is the percentage that they pay? 10% of the premium. Sorry? 10% of the premium. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Family, families the same way? It's, it's a premium, depending on what their status is, single, mar uh, married, or uh, family with uh, husband and wife or family. Right, okay. Try to get a question. Mr. Mayor, no, right. the, the motion in the second, I, I heard what, you know, how Eric put it and Linda put it. Does that mean we're going to lay these employees off right away? Is that what this motion is saying? I'll, I'll clarify that. Yeah, as, as soon as reasonably possible, yes. I mean, you can't do okay. it tomorrow, obviously, but yeah, as soon as reasonably possible, okay. certainly. Okay, well, I, that's, I wanted to clarify that. So, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Okay, okay. And I would just, I would just say add. Okay. Tim, you should maybe, if you're going to, if you have any dates as far as pay period, Tim? You're echoing Nick a little. Could you repeat that, Nick? You're echoing, at least to me, you are. Yeah, sorry. Could we maybe, could we maybe set it up, um, Nick, Mayor, please? Could we maybe set this up through the end, like through the end of this week, so it's not in the middle of a week? Well, well Tim, your opinion on why don't you vote on the motion? Well, well the, the date might be part, part of the motion. motion. Okay. Yeah, okay. we need to verify that with Mr. Little. Tim, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah. Nick. What'd you say? I'm trying to get clarification on the dates. Of when, when this would begin, good. and it, it seems, seems like, like Mr. Little is frozen, frozen right now. Mr. Little, yes. Can is there an issue yeah, as far as the when the date when is? Would be. Well, I mean, obviously, if if anybody would be furloughed in any organization, the end of the week on Friday would, would be the you know would be the best way. You don't want to uh, furlough anybody in the middle of a week. Agreed. So can we make that part of the motion as well then? That way it gives them a couple days. That's up Eric. Eric? Yes, that's that works for me. It's fine. As soon as we, yes. Now, now I would reiterate that um, every municipal staff member is working. They're working in different capacities. That's every department. Sure. Uh, that is not just the 17 or 18 that are being discussed right now. Um, that's, that's everyone, everyone that's upstairs in the municipal building. Uh, it's public works employees. It's everyone, even administrative tax office, finance. They're all working and they're working in different capacities and trying to provide services. I think the majority of what we're discussing of, as far as layoffs are library employees are probably primarily the, ma the majority of them. There are some senior center and I believe there might be some code enforcers involved as well. <clears throat> But this is a time to really challenge the employees to provide services to residents. The library is providing online services to residents. Yes, the senior center is doing that as well. Online. Providing fitness classes, they're planning craft classes. And we also have to keep in mind, both the facilities, library, senior center, and the rec department, they still have to plan to be opened. There's still a lot of planning and programming that needs to be in place for whatever we do actually open. Um, and some of that's gonna come with time, but I would caution council on doing this right now. I think we could always monitor this throughout on a weekly basis. And I believe we certainly have made some savings already with our part-time employees being laid off and some of the other cuts we've made to cover these expenses to support our employees and to provide the services. 
you know, they might be made whole eventually, but they may not receive any kind of compensation for anywhere from a month to six weeks. And for a lot of people that is uh, difficult for to lose three paychecks. So, but the main thing is to provide the services to residents. We're asking our employees to, to work and to be creative with how they provide things. And uh, there are certainly programs that they've already been working on that I believe they should be given the opportunity to, to follow through on and provide these services. Mr. Mayor, please go for a vote. So could I have a roll call? I, I was Second, waiting for please. everybody to get done. I have a qu one question. Mr. Harvey. Uh, Tim, could you run down the roster of the potential layoffs in this motion? Well, I don't have the uh, names, specific names. I don't have the specific names in front of me. Nor no, 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 no. The department count. Yeah, the department count. Um, I believe uh, the library would be eleven full-time people. The senior citizen center would be uh, two people, and the uh, park and rec would be two people. And then there would be uh, code enforcement officers and a uh, engineering inspector. Okay, that's my question. Tim, the code enforcers and building inspector, how many is that? Uh, that'll be a total of three. Any, anything with public works? Uh, no, none in public works uh, was considered. Okay, thanks. So there's a motion to second to lay off those employees. Roll call, please. Mrs. Gatos? Aye. Mr. Poach? Aye. Mr. Harvey? No. Mr. Wolfram? No. Mr. Arsenko? No. Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wilson? No. Motion fails. The no's, no's have it. I'm glad, folks, we at least had the opportunity to discuss it and, and keep it to the forefront for everybody and still keep considering the, those recommendations. I hope we're all wrong. And that everything still works out for us, guys. Agreed. But again, again, we can we can still do this on a weekly basis. I, I, I appreciate that as well, Greg. But at least I think the individuals, per the questions that we had, needed to know that we're at least talking about it because they don't oh, know no. what we talked about in executive session. Eric, you're good. I'm good. Linda, I'm good. Okay, we're moving on.